Good morning, world. You know what? I'm in London. And you know why? Because today's video is sponsored by Blade Runner 2049. I think I found him. Bring it to me. Where is he? Kitty Cat, I'm never going to see you again for like three days. Look. I was going to try and love you. Kitty Cat, I'm never going to see you for like three days. Okay, bye now. Why don't you love me? Why don't you love me? You're so cute. Okay, okay, I'll put you down now. I'll put you down. Okay, bye, cat. Uh, that's right. We're going. We're leaving. Whoa, oh, Jesus Christ. You scared me, you man. We're on the road. I'm getting my bag and I'm going to London. And how am I getting to London? My own personal taxi service, aka. <laughs> Ken. Still doesn't feel like being in the passenger seat of this car. You're not going to crash it into the wall, are you, Dad? Why should I do that? Well, I don't know, everyone else seems to want to at my house. You know, when I see people promoting films, I always forget the date they actually said. So remember, right now, October 5th is the day Blade Runner... Runner? Nice. <laughs> Blade Runner 2049 comes out October 5th. When is it? October 5th. Leave a comment down below. October 5th. Oh my god, there's so many cars of traffic. Uh, but if there's one person who can get me there in time, it was either you or Tom McCallum, but it's definitely you today, Ken. Oh, thank you. I believe in you. Sun's shining. The power, that's the that's power of sideburns. Sun's shining. So my, got, my dad's got, granddad's got earlobes, you've got sideburns. But we can get there. Fingers crossed. My train is at uh, 23 minutes past. However, we're taking up to the train station at uh, 20 past. Oh, close. I might miss my train. That's the train I'm supposed to be getting on. However, there was a fire in London. So, I spoke to a dude and he said, your ticket is valid to get you to your destination, no matter what train you take, it can get you to London. So I'm now getting on a train that's gonna take me to Doncaster, and then from Doncaster to King's Cross. I think. Didn't have time to eat. Okay. This is now gonna be my breakfast. Got me from Manchester to Doncaster, and I need to get from Doncaster to London King's Cross, which is on platform one on time. Okay, I don't, I don't, platform seven and eight. I think I'm going up, I think I'm going down this way. Yes. Wait, there's a, there's a platform zero? What the fuck? All right, this is the next train, which I don't know how long this is gonna take me. I'm supposed to be in London um, pretty much now. I'm supposed to be in London in like the next three minutes, uh, but I think this train might take me an extra two hours, so fudge. My first train may have not worked out, but this one came with a better dinner instead. Will not say no to uh, potatoes covered in something and a bit of chicken. Nice. I've got about another hour before I need to be down in London. I'm hoping that because of my delays, I'm not actually late to where I'm supposed to be going. But I have to ask, is this door supposed to be open? I'm going to shoot no. I made it to London. Oh, look at that. Little London buses around. Little pieces of artwork. I don't even know what that is. But you know what? There's buskers and everything. And I need to work out how to get from here to my hotel. Probably a terrible day to come into London because there's currently been a fire in London and a bomb scare in London. So there's police everywhere next stop the hotel i don't know i think we're just following the uber and we'll find out i think this is my hotel i'm just gonna enter and hope for the best it's a damn nice hotel they were like would you like a complimentary drink so i was like i'll take it that's a champagne what a win this is a hella nice hotel just gonna need to put this in here so i can reveal it ladies and gentlemen welcome to my room that's a tv that's a TV! Got a nice ass chair over here, bottles of water, got a fancy... Oh, is that, that looks comfy. Is it comfy? Oh, that feels nice. But it always determines on the bathroom. It's got touchscreen bathroom light. <gasps> Yo, oh, this is nice. This is a phone on the wall built in via speaker. This is very nice. I like it, you got some robes on the back. However, I have to admit, I don't think I have much of a view. You need to clean your room. This is pretty cool. Now, I've seen this once before in a hotel. They give you this to take with you. So, like, say if you know, like, a tourist and you don't have a date upon, you can take this with you and have internet everywhere. Free during your stay. That's so sick. Yeah, we should probably check the internet speeds on this phone. I've been here for five seconds. I accidentally factory reset the phone, so the phone's broke. However, I now need to put some jeans on, my shoes on, and get rock and roll into where I'm supposed to be heading. Do they lend you a tablet? Oh, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank God I didn't rip that off. That's just a thing to be able to control the lights with. When you open this cupboard, you're like, oh, that's nice. A little coffee machine. I don't know how to use them ones. I struggle. Look at what they give you in here. Look at what they give you. No one cares about 
the sweet and salty popcorn. Are you even serious? Mini eggs? Gummy bears is normal. But mini eggs in a hotel? This is... This is the best hotel I've ever seen. In. Until I get in bed and have a shower and stuff, this hotel right now is like a nine point goddamn nine. Next up, film time. Mate, it's fucking freezing in London. Thank God I bought a fucking coat. Oh, you're about to cancel? No, no, I was about to Oh, fuck that. I thought you were going to cancel on me. I was like, what a savage. I'm like, dude, I'm trying to go and check out a new film. <laughs> Don't cancel. I'm going to be late. I'm going to miss the film. Yeah, dude, I'm like, I'm going to go check out the new uh, Blade Runner. 2049 before oh, it even out comes today? out. No, it's not. Well, it's not out today, oh. but I'm going watching it early. How, how come you watch it early? I know people. Oh, come I know, on, I know, I know, I know a guy. You know, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I just roll up with you, like, yo, this is my Uber driver. Can you watch the film as well? But now they invited me down here to Vicky, come check it out. Um, who stars that? Uh, Ryan Gosling stars, isn't it? Ryan Gosling's in it, yeah. dude. Is, is Harrison Ford in it? Yeah, Harrison Ford's yeah. in it as well. I'm not a critic, but I make YouTube videos and review things. Ah, I see. What's yeah. the channel? Life of Tom. Life of Tom? Yeah, if you want to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash life of Tom. I think I came across this. <laughs> I came across this. <laughs> Why, thank you. Who do you watch? There's so many. Um, Who's your favorite YouTube, your favorite YouTuber? Well, my favorite, listen, I'll be honest Go with on. you, yeah? Um, no, no disrespect or anything. No, it's alright. I don't even know you. Like, no, 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 wait, who's your favorite YouTuber? Thing is, I'm into my gadgets and all that, yeah? Oh, go so, on, who do you like? I like Unbox Therapy. I know him. I know him like, I've met him, I think he's an awesome dude. Oh, you know Lewis? His okay. content is so good. Yeah, I love his content. Do you know so Jason from The Gadget Show? Do you remember Jason from The Gadget Show? What, the baldy guy? Did you just say the baldy guy? Yeah. He is indeed bald, or lacking in the hair region, but yeah, he's a cool guy as well. He's got a new he channel up cool and running. Guy, yeah. uh, what about uh, Marquez, the black guy? Oh, yeah, it's yeah, like, he's, he's yeah, good. I know it's like, wow, racist, but no, oh, but yeah. he's <laughs> like, called Marquez, yeah. he's a black guy, and yeah, he does yeah, tech yeah. reviews. He is really good, I like he him a lot. Really good, Do you watch Casey Neistat? Okay, he's the one. He's, he's the, the man, man right? He's the man, man. See, everyone knows Casey. Okay, I did make it to the right place, and luckily I'm, I met a person who might be able to pull something for me to let me get inside the car that everyone else is taking pictures of, and I'm hopefully gonna drive off in it. All right, maybe I'm not driving off in it, but I'm gonna try my best to get in it, so fingers crossed. Is this actually one from the film? This is from the film? Yeah. Hello. Am I? Grab on and pull up. Yeah, the what? Yeah. Does this thing actually drive? Yeah. You mean, yeah, it does? No, it does. It totally does. <laughs> this one flies. Oh, this one flies. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Finally managed to get into the event. Made it. We're rocking. We're rolling. Blade Runner 2042. Actually, not watching the entire film here. We're watching the old Blade Runner in IMAX. And then we get a 15 minute exclusive clip of the new film. Hey, I'll take it, you know why? It comes with Jonah Walker whiskey. I think I missed the memo about fancy dress. Everyone here is like staring at costumes and stuff and then these guys are looking pretty goddamn sweet. Not gonna lie, if I had the balls to pull off this sort of fashion sense, I would. That is looking hella, hella fancy. See, that's what I probably would wear and that's what I want to wear. There's just people wearing weird things everywhere. Look at them. I can't tell whether they're hipsters or part of the goddamn movie. Oh hell yeah, I want in on this immediately. I want in on this immediately. Oh, that looks sick. One sec, let's see this guy step into it. Oh yes. Oh, that's hella badass. Yeah, I need someone to hold my beer. Right size. I look like I'm wearing my dad's clothes. Oh, that's looking hella badass. Oh, I like that. I can use that as my profile picture. Thank you. Yo, I did not get the memo that you could wear the uh, pink fluffy costume, so I might have to retake that one. But I found the props, boy. An array of props using different scenes of Blade Runner 2049. The hell is this, a spear launch or some shit? An array of props that look like medical drugs, um, chopsticks, handcuffs. I'd Binoculars? Oh yes. Yo, if, if I could pick this up, I would be loving to do that, but I'm pretty sure I'd probably get kicked out. But more importantly, custom made Johnny Walker. Oh man, if I could get one of them for my dad, that'd be so nice. So this is Declan, your brother's called Brad, yeah. Bradley. Watches my vlogs apparently show up. Let me show him the text. He showed a video of us dabbing on camera and he replied, fuck off, he's my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> and I met him at Eurogame in 2015, no fucking way. How long did you speak to him for? <laughs> Wait, can I do a voice message? Okay. 
promote it. I'm still with him, and this is him. So much love to your face, and goodbye. All right, yeah, send him that. <laughs> Let's see what his reaction is to that. Oh, yes, no, wait, this is him. Oh, wait, what else did he say? Wait, go back, go back. Oh my God. Oh yeah, check his Insta time. I said thank you. Oh, that is, How what a small world is that? I'm not being rude, but I've just bumped into an old friend, but all the way from Israel to all your fans, you're a legend and a very nice guy, even though you're ginger, even though you're ginger. But first of all, I've not seen this guy in so long. Oh, guess who, mother... I can't swear, can I? Dude, I've not seen this guy in so long. Like, the Sony staff just came up and was like, do you know this guy? And I was like, where, where? And I saw him emerge from the crowd. We look like brothers. Wow, that's brother from another mother. We did not get the dress code memo. I'm wearing we, No, no, we did not get the right memo. This guy's wearing a goddamn bubble wrap coat. I rate it. I rate it though. And he's got his rainbow we, misses. We effed up. No, we did. We did not come prepared. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess so. I love you. Oh, right, you're saying nice things. I'm, so, I'm not going to slag you off. I love you. You're a friend. All right, all right, thank you. Okay. Uh, how do we do this? I was just going to do the tickle yeah, of the like, finger. Oh, that was kind of sexual. I like that. Oh, well, that was great. Whilst I was talking to Kellogg, I somehow lost my ticket to get into the event. So I'm now stood here looking at this beautiful man's face. The entire, I literally, I, I actually can't get in. So I'm hoping they can work out a ticket for me. Uh, as soon as possible. Okay, so I'm in G17. I think I'm heading the right way. Yeah, dude, I, I, I was lost for a minute, but then I think I found the right place. Mate, this is absolutely incredible, oh my god. Well, this is pretty goddamn terrifying. I'm sat in this big ass building by myself. Kellogg's had to leave. Lydia was gonna join me, but sadly, she's at work. So uh, my plus one is uh, empty. is dying. Humanity cannot survive. Replicants are the future. I found him. That's not possible. What do you want? I need your help. Bring him to me. say that was pretty damn dope as a big ass scream but now it's time to get back to my hotel and go see Lydia I guess they were prepping for bad weather walked outside free umbrella dear every company in the world ever trying to advertise or promote something this is how it's done you put a beautiful man like Ryan Gosling up there and advertise the living shit out of it. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Got to admit, that was one hell of an experience. I watched the, the first ever Blade Runner on a plane, so the screen was absolutely tiny, and the quality therefore was just, it was just crap. So to be able to watch it like that was just a true experience, especially to meet the director and stuff like that was absolutely amazing. We didn't get to ask them questions, but we listened to like a little Q&A they did, and it was really good. But we saw 15 minutes of the new film at the end of this, and... Ryan Gosling, still a beautiful goddamn man. I can't wait to see the new film, and hopefully I get invited back here to watch it on the same size screen again. That'll be hella nice. Just like that, you're gonna lock me out of my own hotel room? Oh, did I have your key? I don't know, but I look so goddamn white. <laughs> Thanks for letting me in. I brought you an umbrella back from the Blade Runner. How exciting. Yeah, there you go. It's a, new, it's a new gift. <laughs> oh, it stinks. <laughs> can, I tell you a can I tell you a massive <laughs> fail from today? Go on. Right. So I was coming down to London, you know, like for promotion for the new uh, Blade Runner film, mm -hmm. which comes out October 5th, by the way. Just another shot out there. But so. Can you take me to see it? Yeah, I am because um, my big fail was I thought I was coming to London to watch it. Mm -hmm. And we didn't watch it. What? Are you joking? <laughs> we watched you the. You told me it was a uh, film premiere. Well, no, it wasn't a premiere. I thought it was a screening with the director. <laughs> It wasn't. What was it? We watched the old one because it was like an original. Like it was a, like there was one before it, and this is like Blade Runner two, but it's Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Uh, yeah, this was watching that, but in better quality, like a remastered version of it. And then they showed us fifteen minutes to the new one, so I kind of failed. Yeah. What was the fifteen minutes like? Really good. I really want to go. Uh, Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Ryan Gosling looked good. In it. That's what I said. Like I walked out of the cinema, and I was like, damn, that's an attractive guy. So I'm gonna have to take you to see it. 
at the same place because the screen was like it's IMAX, so it was check. Yeah, we can. Yo, Sony, hook us up. You better know I treat my ladies good. For for instance, I answer the door with no pants on. Yeah, why? Why do you want me to say lady? Yeah. Nah, you should. I managed to get her an eat and mess. So here's your pudding. Eat and mess for you. Lydia's in bed, so you can't see her. Uh, what have I got? Oh! Got some fries over here. Yep, the wife wants them immediately. And I got myself a club damn sandwich. Look at that. Got two hot chocolates as well. And do you need ketchup? So, oh. I need this. I'm so damn hungry. I actually text Joe. So I was like, yo, let's get together and go for food. And Joe's uh, answer was, uh, yeah, let's go get McDonald's. Joe, when I say I need food, I need food. And this is going to have to do. And just like that, did you enjoy Jumanji? <laughs> yeah. Aww. Yeah, I had to wear Lydia's glasses because my Lasex wearing off. But I'm going to have to end today's vlog here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like rating, and as always, oh no, click the subscribe button, <laughs> ding dong that notification bell, you'll never miss a video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6pm for the next daily vlog. And until then, I saw the boss. <laughs> oh, them hot chocolates were horrible, weren't they? I didn't try it. Ah, oh, it was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I was really happy.